We we'll have a number of speakers today, and we're very excited about the direction our company's going. And I'd like to introduce John Force, a 15-time Funny Car Champion, to get the program started. Uh, thank you, Elon, and I want to thank everybody for being here. I'm about to seize up. I don't know why. Too much of that full throttle. Thank God Mellow Yellow's coming, Compton. I'm going to be okay. Um, what, what, I wanna, um, what I want to approach here is a little bit different. I always say that I like to entertain, have a little bit of fun. Um, but, and my wife says, you call that entertaining? So, let, let, as Mongoose would say, let's just move on. Uh, but one of the things is our sport, and we're in a tough economy right now. Not only are the race teams fighting to get programs and get budgets, John Force Racing has been very fortunate to have the group that we have. And, and I know that your own companies, um, you know, are struggling and fighting to make numbers. And you have my word, JFR Racing with, with its drivers, we're going to continue uh, to fight the fight for you and for ourselves. Uh, you know, Compton and I, Tom and I, we speak a lot uh, about NHRA and the direction and where it's going. Uh, we're a family sport. And, and um, uh, Mr. Berlin, I'll get to you in a minute, but I told you I was going to be real short. I had a mood swing here about 10 cups of coffee's back. <laughs> but we're a family sport, and if you look at NHRA at the races, it really is a family. And, uh, and, and my family has been part of that for 35 years, and I've watched it grow, and I've grown with it. Uh, uh, we, we've been with NHRA from day one, since b before my children were born. And now, when I look at the family of sponsors, I mean, I've been with Castrol actually over 28 years, the first year with the test program. I'm actually at 29 years. And, and, and to watch my children uh, grow and, and the sponsors that have been with us, um, you know, Castrol, I just really want to thank you. Uh, it's just, it's, it's unbelievable uh, what you fellows have done and, and Lorianne and, and everybody in this family. Um, Auto Club, uh, coming down the road with us and all the things that we've been through, ups and downs and boardroom brawls and the stuff, we've had a lot of fun and you finally got my mind right because <laughs> I know I'm a little crazy sometimes. Uh, Ford been on board like Auto Club uh, with all of these race cars and then naturally uh, uh, brand source and and, um, and and Bob Lawrence, I really want to thank you because he mentioned that you came up through the ranks with Brittany and Courtney, but actually with Ashley also, as did Auto Club. And in, in designing race cars, it's really been to me to take care of everybody. That's what it's all about. But you're really our, 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 our family. Uh, Jenkins, Mike Jenkins of Traxxas, you took on my baby girl last year. Uh, Courtney, they're all my baby girls. But uh, he disappeared for four weeks. I almost seized up. I couldn't find Jenkins, the president. And then I get a phone call. He said, Forrest, your first, your first voicemail was, hey, I haven't talked to you in a week. Where in the hell you been? And then he said the 10th one said, oh, my God, what have I done wrong? Have you quit? <clears throat> we need you guys. My wife always joked that, that um, at our wedding, she said, Everybody in the wedding was either from NHRA that stood up there with you or was a sponsor. You know what I mean? Sponsors, I hate to say it. I love you too, Jenkins, and, and Auto Club, but I love your money. I just got to be honest. I wouldn't say this, but on coffee, I'm saying it. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really, I'm really, I'm really lucky to have, have all of these folks. Um, and I want to talk about our drivers. My daughter Ashley, um, when you think about the future of our company, I was, this was my last girl. Brittany was the end of the road. I can quit stressing. I can go down the road. You know, we got Ashley in the seat. My daughter Adra um, uh, runs this company. Robert Heights, the president. But I thought the last girl, and then Farrell's told me today, Robert and Steve Cole's negotiating a deal with my granddaughter to drive a, uh, Robert's already bought her a new dragster. I don't even know if Adra knows. And, and Jacob, he crawled all over this thing last night at rehearsal. We couldn't get him out. I'm going to keep it short, Elin, I promise. <laughs> but Jacob, and I thought here, and I thought, almost, you know, it's like the movie Jaws, when I thought it was safe to go back in the water. This is starting all over again. 
And I told my wife, when I walk out of this room, I'm going to go lay down for two days. But I want to tell you a little bit. Auto Club, if you don't think you got the right team and the right guy, Robert has wore himself out to the point of being sick. That's why he's not speaking. Robert's the president of John Force Racing. But Robert not speaking today. He's lived with that race car. We built three new design chassis. We built this car. There's, there's another one coming that'll have the trick cockpits and all that stuff for safety. And it'll be tested in Florida as well as this one. But just watching him work, I saw so much of me. And to the point, we laid in the snow shooting this car. And, and I just really want to thank you, Robert. It's why I love you. I don't know where you're at out there, but, but just unbelievable that he is going to win, and he's made up his mind uh, where he's going, and he lives it. And, and uh, I'm slowing down a little bit, but I'm still getting the job done. Uh, Courtney, unbelievable. We've been on search trying to find Jenkins. <laughs> We didn't know where you were, and I don't even know how to Twitter to find you. <clears throat> but Courtney was like, am I speaking? Well, why aren't I speaking, baby? We unveiled you here last year with Traxxas, and we're going this way. But uh, Courtney, stand up. And Robert Height, raise your hand, Robert. <laughs> they live the racing. My daughter, Adra, went to Indy. She says, the only way I can see my husband is I'm going to Indy. And then she said he leaves every day the hotel dad at 6, and he comes back at 8. And that we were on the same schedule. And Courtney, she's running to the Chili Bowl tomorrow and, and, or, and then heading to, to Indy and then, uh, I mean, testing in Florida. So we're on overload, okay? But it's, it's just really cool. And, and then my baby girl, Ashley, and just, uh, yep, we're going to have another. Won't tell me if it's boy or girl. And, and I said, why not? And she said, because you just go on TV tomorrow and tell everybody. But she put all this together for us. And um, just really love you guys. And she'll be back in the seat of them funny cars one of these days. Uh, Brittany, Brittany chose uh, to go another direction. Uh, Brittany, you're unbelievable. Like you said, when I put you in that car, it was like, Dad, you conned me. You told me I was going A fuel, just test in the top fueler, and then we'll get you an A fuel deal. And I didn't trick you, baby, because I knew once you discovered speed, it's a whole new world. It's like being on full throttle all the time. That's what's wrong with me. Okay, let's get back to business. And my wife, Lori, where are you at, baby? Stand up. Where are you at, honey? That, that's my real boss, the one that, that um, really makes this all happen. So I just want to thank you, and I love you for giving me these children. When I went into Castro's boardroom, it was all men, one woman. Now our president of Castro is a woman. Uh, Marcy Brand, and, and two ladies here today, uh, uh, Tribby Warfield uh, from Gates, woman president. Tribby, raise your hand. I know you're there. Where you at? Can't find I, I see her. Um, and also, Lori Bolin from Stingray that just joined us. The women are taking over. That's okay, because I got women on this team, so we're going to be okay. But... It, it, it's a new time, but we're going different roads, and a lot of the things that, that we're talking about with Tribby is, is doing charities and stuff. Thanks for the kids to give back, and I'm really excited about that, and I appreciate that, that, that you asked me to be a part of it. So right now, uh, Lori Angola, you know I love you. You've been with me all these years. Uh, I want to introduce Dave Berlin. I always say David, but Dave, and I'd like you to come up here because you're the man from Castro that's going to take us down the road where we're going in the future and let you do this introduction. Sorry for being so long. It's my great pleasure to announce that Brittany Force will drive the Castro Edge Top Fuel Dragster in 2013. Like all drivers from John Force Racing, Brittany will be a great ambassador to our Castro Edge brand. Let's give her a big hand. Come on up, Brittany. I am so excited to be here today and I would like to begin by thanking every person and every sponsor that has made today possible. My father, John Force, has given me such an amazing opportunity to do something I love and has, has supported me the entire way. My mom and my sisters, Ashley, Courtney, and Adra, have been with me on this journey and stood behind my every step. My brother-in-laws, brother Robert Height and Dan Hood, have also helped to get me where I am today as a driver. I feel very lucky to be surrounded by such amazing sponsors, 
friends, and family who believe in me as a driver going into the 2013 NHRA Mellow Yellow season. Castrol has been a part of the John Force Racing family for 28 years and is continuing to grow with us. I am also excited to be working with Auto Club, Traxxas, Ford, Mac Tools, and BrandSource going into my rookie season. I also want to thank Bob Lawrence from BrandSource, who has, who has continued his support and encouragement over the last years. Back two years ago, I graduated Cal State Fullerton and earned a BA in English and went an extra year and earned a teaching credential. After finishing school, my plan was to jump back in the seat of my a fuel car and really start competing every weekend. Unfortunately, that was not an option because it was difficult finding a sponsor to run in the sportsman division. I talked to my dad, but I was still persistent on wanting to drive an a fuel car. I love my dragster, and I didn't see a reason to change something I truly loved. After much thought, John First Racing decided to build a top fuel car that I could test in and hopefully gain enough exposure to find a sponsor for an A fuel team. In the mastermind of John Force, I had no idea this was a big trick to push me over the edge, out of my comfort zone, and into something completely new. We already had all the parts for a dragster and had plenty of teams that were willing to help. The idea of climbing into a top fuel car that runs over speeds of 335, 330 miles per hour was terrifying to me. I told my dad I'd rather jump off a cliff than drive a monster of a car. I have always been a pretty daring individual and am one who would never say no to a new challenge. Deciding to head down that road, my dad and I had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. It's strange how things have a way of falling into place. I felt like I was down one path, had a change of heart, and I am now down a completely different path. After making my first full pass down the track in Las Vegas, I had run a 396 at 308 miles per hour and was hooked on driving a top field car. It was a heck of a lot faster, a lot blurrier, but it was such a thrill. Continuing to test in the top field dragster, I earned my license last month and became the first official top field driver in John Force Racing. I also became the quickest force running a 385 at 319 miles per hour, which still makes my dad cry every time somebody mentions it. <laughs> Heading into the season, I am beyond excited to announce I will be teaming with Castrol Edge as my sponsor. I am so proud to have Castrol by my side stepping into my rookie season and beginning my career as a driver. I also feel very lucky to mark the return of Castrol back into the top field category. Watching my dad win 15 championships and become a legend in the sport of drag racing gives me the confidence that Castro will meet and exceed the demands of my 8,000 horsepower Ford Boss 500 engine in my top field car. I will be driving one of the fastest accelerating vehicles on the planet, and I'm going to need a motor oil that is strong enough to handle the pressure. Castro Edge offers me the protection and is the only oil my team and I will trust to do our job and go after our first win. I can't believe the change I've seen in myself and the confidence I've gained as a driver over this last year. I have never felt more positive about any decision in my life, and I have never felt more on the right path than I do right now. I cannot wait for Pomona in the season to get started. Dean Antonelli, Eric Lane, my team, and I are so excited to help grow John Force Racing by competing in the first top field dragster with some serious edge. Now, if I can have my dad and Dave join me, I'd like to unveil the first Castrol Edge Top Field Dragster. <laughs> 